25% of men? She's like a multi-millionaire. Her family is like loaded. She's not settling down with an average guy. I like how she's so committed to this red pill shit. She doesn't even realize like her own value. Like, bro, you're probably, I don't know if she's a millionaire yet. Um, she might be because of inherited family wealth. But like, bro, you're, what, you're one of the most successful women at your age internationally and you think you're gonna settle down with a with a 95th percentile guy you can absolutely land a 98th 99th percentile guy like she's reasonably attractive she's really successful she comes from a really good background but she has no real world experience like does she think she's gonna go settle down with some random dude some random guy working a white collar job making 75k a year or whatever like what like what, a, what she's so bizarrely like mind fucked on this red pill shit she doesn't even know her own fucking value do you Very, think you're, you'll be settling on in your own personal life? What what value will yeah. I be settling on? In my yeah, what man do you think is reasonable for you to pursue? I, I just kind of I think that's a bit of a inappropriate like question. That's but. interesting because you spend everybody in chat that's saying she's not remotely attractive is self-reporting so fucking hard because you have no idea what an actual woman even looks like. She puts zero effort into makeup. She puts almost no effort into how she dresses or her hair. She's completely fine. And not to mention that if she approached you on the street, 95% of you virgin fucks in chat saying, oh, she's not ugly would be on your fucking knees. Be like, yes, queen, I'd love to go to date with you even if you don't, didn't even know who the fuck she was. She looks fine. She doesn't have any deformities. Her teeth aren't fucked up at all. She completely looks fine. You guys are fucking at your wild and out. If you're like, oh, she's not attractive at at all fuck out of here like all day talking about this stuff i find that it's really interesting to, to have you and anal put this analysis to, into use how why is it well, the way you're framing the, the way you're the, the absolute worst case you could say is she's average looking if you want to do it i mean the question is a bit disingenuous how? um i think i think most women and you know how is it I, disingenuous <sighs> um yeah I, just, I think it's a bit disingenuous why mm -hmm. why why is it disingenuous mm -hmm. I'm, I'm analyzing your viability by your own metrics, which you do all day to other women and yep, men. True. Why is that disingenuous? I don't. <sighs> she's like, okay. she's gonna say I don't do that, but she does. Like, I think it's fair to say, because you were talking to women about expectations and men about expectations based on the value. I think it's fair to say, okay, well, what's your value of man you're looking for based on your own, uh, based on your own? Uh, what's what's my value to a guy that I'm no, looking for? No, 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 what value no, of like, man? I, I wish, I, like, I don't know what you want me to say. Like, I wish I, I was a virgin. You know, I, sh I should have no, no, waited. No, 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 no. Like, I don't know what, like, I don't. I don't, you know, most guys don't expect that in 2023, unfortunately. Um, I think men adapt to the market, but I think to say that you should just sleep around um, is, is a bit silly. That's that not think, what I'm asking. I'm asking. Well, that you were saying that, like, that more partners is good. I think that's a bit silly. No, um, okay, I think it's on, silly I'm to say, you, like, Pearl, I'm talking about you. Your value by your own metrics is going to be not super high. Mm -hmm. so, yeah, it's, it's less high than it was five years ago. But it's not even just the age thing. It's like you are, you are working, you're in the foreground, you don't know how to cook. These are not good things oh, for your right. Hey, I'm actually pretty, I'm pretty good now. I've gotten you have a lot better. Okay, good. You're working towards it, but unfortunately, as you started, age, those things are going to bounce out. I'm, yeah, I mean, sometimes, sometimes, like, you start in a certain place in life, but all you can do is improve and get better. That's interesting. Oh, now she takes the very liberal view of, like, well, listen, everybody's on their own journey. Everybody can do their thing. I thought we were being realistic before. I thought we were being brutally honest. I thought we were telling people the things they didn't want to hear. But now it's like, well, let's meet people where they are. Let's see. Everybody's on their journey, blah, blah, blah. I think Ethan's about to say this, maybe. Let's see. I agree. So what is the point of telling people that they're... Because a lot of times you know, we're, like, li we're lied to. We're not even told what men want. Being told that men want younger women is like crazy, even though that's, that's not true, by the way. It's not, that's not true, by the way. Men don't want younger women. They want, okay, who's hotter? A 50 year old is equally as hot as a 20 year old, just based on looks and nothing else. So, yeah, it could be. I mean, it could be. If he wants, because people love using celebrity examples so much, even though they tell you not to use the exception, how do they explain Bezos? Didn't Bezos just get married or is getting married to like a 54 year old woman? You don't think Jeff Bezos could find a, couldn't find a fucking 20 year old virgin? This guy could probably buy 20 year old virgins, okay? If Epstein could fuck kids, I'm pretty sure Bezos could fucking find a 20 year old fucking virgin, okay? <clears throat> mm -hmm. But like, how do you meet a guy that you respect because he's settling on you? Don't you see that there's a paradox here? I mean, if you respect men, you don't like... What? But, you, but how, can you, how are you gonna settle for a low value man? It's like, that, it's like, dude, come on. Hello? Like... A low value man. A low value um, man. I, I think I think if you get married, you're lucky to get married. <laughs> so, so, so I would I would feel I would feel very lucky. Um, if I was married, I would feel. So you'll take anything. <laughs> no, I won't take anything. A bit silly. Your 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 standards. I didn't say. Are I didn't low. say. <laughs> that's not what I said. But okay. You said I'll be happy if I get married. I don't. You know what I mean? I, yeah. I didn't, say to any, I didn't. I didn't say to anyone. Hmm. Hmm. How would you? So I, where's your value as a woman? Would you say like on a scale of one to ten? I give myself like a five. A five? Yeah, that's fair. Mm -hmm. I think. I mean, based on your metric, I'm not saying one way or the other. Mm -hmm. So we're looking yeah, for. Yeah, I think. Yeah, I think I'm a five. So. So you're saying that all men want to uh, have sex with younger women? This is kind of interesting data, but are you aware that the milk category is like the most popular? It was the number one most searched term in 2018. Milk. <laughs> yeah, men like to have sex with older women. But why um, is it the most searched for? 
Oh my yeah, god. They're looking dude. for milk. Oh my god. Oh, Ethan is just fucking brutalizing her. Oh no. And when they watch are, porn. Are, you, are you saying are you saying porn is the same thing as marriage and relationships? Now would Ethan if Ethan wanted to fucking hammer at home, he does I bet he doesn't know this number. God, I wish he did. He should ask her, Pearl, what do you think the average age gap is in a relationship? Wait for her to say like, I don't know, 10, 15 years? Because the answer is like two to three years is like the average gap. You say men want to have sex with young girls. Why then are men want to have sex? When you say young girls, it's a bit. Okay, you know. 22, I mean, what do you want me to say? Okay, young women, 22 year olds. Mm -hmm. Why then are they going to Pornhub and looking up milk? If they just want to, if they prefer, and this is the most searched. Wouldn't they be searching for like teen or something? 2018, yeah. You know, men aren't that picky, you know what I mean? No, 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 it's not about not picky, that picky, it's about picky. They, they can pick whatever they want, it's question. Why do you think, like, the, the number one, like, they swipe right on younger women? That's do you, do you, think you, it's, you think it's Do you think it's equal, an 18 or 22 year old versus a 50 year old woman in terms of love? No, I'm asking, do you think it's equal? Are you equally attracted to the average 55 year old versus 22 year old? I would be more uh, equally uh, attracted to someone closer to my age where I am in life, I think. Okay. Yeah, I would, I would Maybe say. Maybe like minus five years. Yeah, when she says who gets swiped more on 20 year old girls versus 50 year old girls, well, what's the average age of a swiper on Tinder? Because if the average age of a person on Tinder is like 24, wouldn't you expect them to swipe more on people around their age? I'm curious. Average age of Tinder user. <clears throat> so 60% of Tinder users are 18 to 34. Right, 35%, a plurality of the user base is 18 to 24. So it, that's not even that surprising then that younger people would be getting more swipes. That's about exactly what you would expect to see, right? Yeah, but younger typically. Typically. Not older. Well, I mean, plus or minus five years. Younger. Plus yeah, or minus. younger, right. Plus or minus five years. Okay, you said younger first, but. I'm telling you plus or minus. Okay, okay. There's no take backsies. <laughs> no take backs, <laughs> no, you said younger. Yeah. Yeah, but so why do you, how do you explain that? Want to date, most women want to date five to seven years older. I think men. Five to seven years old. Okay, ask her for the stats on that. Oh, because this is an easy one. What is the average age? What is the average gap in a relationship? Average age gap. Oh, like five years younger. Is there any way to explain why MILF is the um, most searched category? Guys like to watch, you know, a hot mom have sex. Yeah. More than a young girl have sex, apparently. Are they the top porn stars? Because I thought those were younger women. I thought it was like the ones that, I mean, I don't actually watch that stuff, so I don't know. I but... don't know the stats, but I'm just telling you based on search that people are looking up MILF. Way more than teen and stuff like yeah. that. So that I mean, interesting, okay. though. Do you, do, you, do you think it's better for a woman to get married at 35 than 22? I think it's neutral. I think it, it depends on a lot of things. I do think women who get married young have a higher rate of divorce. Yeah, it's like below the age of like 21 or 18 or something. I don't remember. So that kind of disproves your thesis, doesn't it? If younger women are getting divorced... I'd say more, overall more. younger is better than older. But if overall. younger women are getting divorced more... and you're The youngest, the youngest, not younger... But we also wait to get married. The average age of first marriage in the UK is like 31. Yeah, but our life expectancy is like double what it was. So it's not really fair right, to doesn't change. It doesn't change biology. Like, so when it comes to children, like women are still the most fertile when they're younger. So, I mean, we can have a cultural shift, but it doesn't change your biology. Well, we have a scientific shift too. And we have methods of, of making it easier for older, uh, older women to have uh, babies. Mm -hmm. Yeah, so like the cultural shift is you're matching the IVF? scientific. You're IVF, about... It's not just IVF. There's fertility treatments you can get. I've done it with my yeah. wife. It's, mm -hmm. it's less invasive. It's like taking hormones and stuff. And uh, so, so the, the I science- can, I can pull up the numbers, but I'm the majority of IVF fails, especially over a certain age. I, I can pull it up. Um, so? But, so I think it's, and it's expensive too. It's like the average IVF is like $30,000. Yeah, most fertility so, treatments is an IVF. There's, there's less invasive, less impactful, less expensive things that you can do that are really effective. Right. right. I mean, you can, but again, most people are living paycheck to paycheck. They can't afford a bunch of fertility treatments. Okay. Like, I think that's easy for you to do, right? You're in a great position. It should in life. be free, I average, agree. But uh, no, you know, I don't, I don't think that you should pay for other people's decisions, you know? Um, I think if you wanna make that decision, you should pay for it. But I just think that's an easy thing for you to say when you're in like, you're, I, I'm, you, do, you do such great numbers. I'm sure you do really well income wise. Thank you for saying that. Do you, should we, we don't pay, we shouldn't pay for what other people do. Should we pay for prisoners or should we ex execute them all? <laughs> <laughs> Those are my only options? Well, we shouldn't pay Did for- Did pay for prisoners or execute them? Okay, right, that's extreme. Do too? <laughs> In a sense though, I'm trying to make it like a, a somewhat- Like a, because, that's a tough question. Well, prisoners cost yeah. on average like $30,000 a year, the average prisoner. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Or even more now, probably like 40, more. I think it's like close 000? to 70,000 or something like that. 70,000? Let me look it up. I'll look it up. So that's the right crazy. Because IVF is obviously way cheaper than that. Mm -hmm. So what do we do about them? To execute or put them in pr well or well, what else i mean what what what, what would you do with prisoners we're spending forty five thousand dollars uh, a year what do we do with them yeah the average is yeah it looks like forty five thousand forty five thousand ivf like, probably costs like ten thousand the i mean <laughs> what are they in prison for i don't know much about it's um, kind of a different you know topic but oh, i do man. think we should execute well they're all costing us the same amount of money speaking, execute 
and murderers. Yeah, we can. The rest, I, I don't really know. I don't have a strong opinion. Well, but IDF in general, in general, but I guess you know, I guess prison would make a bit more sense because you want to save society. So that's something everybody benefits from. But I don't, I don't benefit if Susie down the streets waits waits till she's 35 to get married. But then her, her family will be stronger. She's less likely to get divorced. The kids will yeah, grow up in a stable could, household. I mean, yeah. or she could do that when she's younger. Like again, we're right, but that's not how it works. And you know that you look at the stats. Younger people are more likely to get divorced. Young people don't make yeah. as much money. What, younger what people have by, less time to spend. By, what do you What do you mean by young? So like, I think that I saw was under the age of 21. But it's like between above that, the divorce rate's very similar. Do you think women under 21 should get married? Yeah. Um, yeah, <laughs> yep. if they want to. <laughs> oh, come think, on. You know, people, I'm not forcing anyone to do anything, but I think more time <laughs> you can spend with a husband rather than just like out on the dating market, I think that's better. I think less experience is better. Uh, so here's an interesting uh, analysis regarding men wanting to sleep with uh, younger women. The top. So I, I've been trying to source that figure. By How old is Abella Danger? How old is she? Uh, how old is Ab Abba? She's 27. She's 27. That's pretty old in your world, isn't it? <laughs> Lana Rhodes, Riley Reed. Yeah, but that's not a MILF. Oh, no. I think, and, and us, for us, it's like uh, 18 Lana to 28. Age. Lana, Rhodes is, Lana Rhodes is 26. 26, yeah. Yeah, but again, 18 to 20, most search, 18, but like, 18 to 28. Just because they're, okay, they're the most popular doesn't mean it's the most popular category. Says, also, they're 26 is over the hill, right? Yeah, the top, the yeah. top categories I have is ebony, lesbian, threesome. I don't see any 22-year-old head large uh, Roll mainstream Roll more okay, stuff. 22 versus 26, it's not that. Like, we say 18 and 28 is a woman's peak. 20, what is the woman's feet? Eight, between 18 and 28. Um, I mean, 28. it slowly declines after, after like 22 or 23. It slowly declines, but 18 to 28 is and woman's peak. peak as in what? What does peak mean? Peak, like, looks-wise. Okay, looks-wise. Hmm. So I've been trying... You, this claim that men between ages 20 and 80 want to have sex with 22-year-olds, I haven't been able to find any source for that. The only source I've been able to find is from this... Can we book. put the prisoners to work? Say what? Can we put the prisoners to work? They already yeah. do. Yeah, they That's do. Exactly they're based, do they're slaves already. They work for, like, 10 cents an hour. Yeah, but only... To profit yeah, but... private corporations, by the way. It doesn't benefit you at all. Okay. Yeah. Yeah, it's not a good system. Yeah, you seem very knowledgeable in the prison system. I'm not a... I wouldn't call myself a prison expert. Yeah, and that's, fa that's fair. We don't need to... No. I, I don't expect you to be... So, in terms of sourcing, <coughs> this claim that old men want to have sex with... Not old men. All men want to have sex with 22-year-olds uh, around that age. <coughs> the only source for that I could find... They find, they find that, that the most attractive. The only source for that I could find was a book called... Can you look up? What's the mo Okay, yeah. Uh, this, the the way that these numbers are sourced is pretty pretty poor, so it's not really that high quality of a of a oh. of a source. But I'll read you the the results. It does say that men 20 to 50 find 23 year olds most attractive, but in the same study it says, but women that men find most they're most interested in are women of their similar age. Ooh. But they found the 23 year olds the most attractive. Ooh. But not the most. How did they how did they how did they source how did they source interested in and desirable? This is one of the big limitations of a lot of this research that I grilled and destroyed Rolo and Michael on was this idea that you can do this single variant analysis, this monovariate analysis. I don't know if that's a real phrase or not, but it should be. Okay. Well, you can look at one thing and go, oh, women prefer this thing. Therefore, all of their dating preferences revolve around that. That is not true. Just because somebody might find a 22 year old more attractive doesn't necessarily mean they would want to date a 22 year old. That is not true. Oh, univariate, fuck. Um, but yeah, they're, they're um, because people will find research where you can say like, oh, like who do you find more attractive? A guy that's six, eight or a guy that's like five, eight or whatever, right? Like women might gravitate or not gravitate. 